Hey y'all, it has been a whirlwind of a year, so let me get you all caught up. First, if you've been to a Sally Beauty store or website recently and noticed you couldn't find my collection, I made the decision to pull out of there because baby, the partner vendor issues were wearing me out. I needed to take a step back and reconfigure this thing. You can read the full statement and sign up for emails from me at monoshair.com. Now, while all that's been going on, the blessing I am most excited about is the completion of my house. Yes, I built a custom home just for me, and it is a true testament to the goodness and grace of God. The build took a year from start to finish, but I was able to close mid-September and I am all moved in. I've just been getting situated, unpacking, setting things up, getting furniture delivered, new cookware, of course, really just allowing myself to enjoy this new phase of my life, this new season. Speaking of new seasons, your girl is 40. I am 40 years old. I mean, I've gifted myself a house and then kicked off the celebration with a trip to Vegas in October to see Usher with my girls and we wore it out. Y'all, Usher is still that guy and has all the vocals and moves. Definitely one of the best shows I've ever seen. But me and my friends, we ate good, we danced, we laughed, we played. <laughs> we had a time. <laughs> then I spent my Actual birthday, November 5th, here in Atlanta at the Garden Room with friends, which was everything. Good food, live music, beautiful atmosphere, and just a whole lot of fun. I am feeling very blessed, and I am looking forward to my 40s being filled with nothing but peace and prosperity. So, with my products off shelves for a while, you may be wondering what I'm turning to. Let's get into it. This is a seven day old wash and go. That's right, in seven days. Yeah, the under pieces are a little frizzy, but overall, there's more definition than not. If you're not on the gram or Facebook, it's been a while since you've seen me. I'm currently at 25 inches of length and I am still using the same color I changed to last fall, which I will link that video for you below. I am working out every day because your girl got to keep that health up. We got to keep those green checks on the physical when we go to the doctor. And that means I'm going to have a sweaty scalp. I'm not sacrificing my health to preserve my hair. So I have had to figure out a way to do both. I like to start with a pre-cleanse to get the process going. Y'all know I love Aveda products because they understand the assignment and they are made with a very high level of ingredient integrity. This Promisana scalp cleanser removes buildup while exfoliating to balance sebum levels. After I massage this in for about a minute, I'm gonna jump in the shower and rinse out. Next, I am going to use Aveda's Nutriplenish Deep Moisture Shampoo. This one is part of a newer collection and I absolutely love the smooth, creamy texture on this one. It's made with a superfood blend of plant butters and oils to really boost hydration while cleansing. Something I make sure to do is always massage shampoo down the hair shaft with my fingertips versus in a circle or with agitating back and forth motions. This helps protect the cuticle layer of your hair while guiding some of the shed hair down to be rinsed away. Now I am ready to deep condition, which I do every six or seven days. Of course, I still have a stash of my products on hand and I'm going to keep using my curl restoring treatment because she is that girl. I've been solely using this since 2018 when I got my first lab samples back and it has definitely made a huge difference in the health of my hair, not to mention allowing for all this good length retention. However, if you're all out, I can recommend Aveda's Damage Remedy Treatment. I've used it in the past on myself and clients and it's very legit. Yes, like my conditioner, this one also has protein in it, but it is not a protein treatment. Your conditioner needs protein to satisfy protein moisture balance that your hair needs, AKA elasticity, also known as what keeps your hair from breaking off. Please do not come in my comments telling me you're protein sensitive. That's not a thing. That's like saying you're allergic to water. Your hair is literally made up of protein. Just trust me on this. 
When detangling, I like to use this tangle teaser brush. It gets the job done really fast. It glides through easily. The teeth on it are made to not snag the hair and it's easy to clean. I like to add just a little bit of warmth with my hot head deep conditioning cap. That just lets the goodness of my treatment get into the strands. I like to multitask. So I'm going to do a mini facial starting with Aveda Botanical Kinetics Cleansing Gel and my Radius Spin Brush, which I absolutely love. I have a coupon code for this one. I'll put it in the description box below. Next, I am going to reset my pH with some Aveda Toning Mist and then apply their Deep Cleansing Clay Mask using my Anissa Application Brush. I use this mask once a week to dry out impurities and refine my pores. It gives the appearance of smoother skin. I like that this one in particular is not harsh and drying like some clay mask can be. It's actually really moisturizing as it's exfoliating. Then I like to add Derma E's Hydro Gel Patches which have a nice boost of vitamin C in them. We're going to let all this sit for a few minutes, then jump back in the shower and rinse everything off. Okay, I have my hair pulled back so I can finish my skin routine. First, I'm gonna reset that pH again after that mask with toning spray. Then I like to apply retinol. This really helps ward off the signs of aging. I started including retinol around 30, so this is 10 years of preventative care. Now I am going to mix a little Tulasara Brightening Serum with the Botanical Kinetics All Sensitive Lotion and massage it in. Always making sure to push upward to defy gravity and activate that collagen in the skin. And don't neglect your neck. When it comes to aging, your neck and hands are the body parts that will tell on you first. Now I am going to apply Josie Marin Pro Retinol Eye Concentrate to give that oh so sensitive under eye skin a little help. Then I will finish up with Kapari Lip Gloss, which is very hydrating and not sticky at all. Love it. Now let's get these curls set. I like to line my perimeter with a little gel because y'all know how disrespectful edges can be. This is my favorite sculpting gel by Agadir. And of course, because it's my favorite, you know what that means. Yep, it's discontinued. But you can still find it around some online spaces. Just Google for it. But since I have a lot of it on hand, I'm still going to use it and I'm not bothering myself with searching for a replacement until I get over this devastating loss. Y'all know my go-to style 99% of the time is a wash and go. So let me show you a little combo that I am very pleased with and y'all know I'm picky about products. I am starting with TGIN Green Tea Super Moist Leave-In Conditioner. Let me just pause and say rest in peace to my friend, Christia Donaldson, the founder of this amazing brand. She passed after a very hard fought battle with breast cancer and that really just broke my heart. I am so glad that I was able to know her in her time here with us and that we all get to have this beautiful piece of her still here through her brand. I have used this leave-in before so I already know it's perfection. It absorbs nicely, it's hydrating, not too oily, and has a medium weight, so it makes it easy to combine with other products. I like to use my Denman Volumizing Brush to evenly distribute product. The teeth on this brush glide better because they are staggered and don't apply as much tension to the hair like the nine row brush does that you probably see a lot of people reaching for. Now I am going to apply the Dew Mousse Def Texture Foam. Brush it through and then separate my hair into smaller clumps. You have probably heard people call this shingling. Listen, this one right here, this foam right here, a champion. I am really not surprised because the owner Maya is a licensed stylist that specializes in curly hair care and she understands the needs of textured hair. This is the only product of hers I've tried so far, but I'm sure they're all good. In my opinion, foam stylers overall are the best for multi-use and benefit out of all the types of styling products. They tend to be very forgiving on the application, which means for you heavy-handed folk, you won't be overusing it, creating flakes on the back end because foam doesn't flake. They tend to play nicely with other products. They provide lots of shine and volume. They dry faster, 
You can use them for a range of styles from wash and go to twist outs to rod sets. And they tend to be easier to sleep with because they won't get flat from the weight of your head like gels can do. The one drawback though, is that they typically have very little hold or the hold won't sustain for more than like a day or two. I'll get to how I fix that problem in a second. Just stay with me on this. Because my hair is twice the length I used to allow it to get to, I find that being very intentional and neat while setting helps me keep the definition and longevity of my style through the week. This also keeps my hair from getting tangled throughout the week, which means easier wash days. I like to give a little twirl close to the root to facilitate that separation and smoothness of each curl chunk because after this is dried, I'm not pulling it apart. I'm not going to pick at it. Again, trying to keep the definition. I give each section a squish upward to lock it all in and then I'm gonna go under my hooded dryer. Yes, I could diffuse, but it would take forever with this much hair and the hooded dryer is faster and drying your hair still keeps the definition better. This Red by Kiss 1875 watt dryer is ceramic and height adjustable. I like to use it on medium heat because high will have you sweating. After about 20 to 25 minutes, the roots are dry and I can pop out, clip up the ends and go back under for another 20 to 25 minutes or so until it's fully dry. Yes, I could air dry, but I don't like giving up my day to sitting with wet hair or having to wash it at the crack of dawn so it has time to dry. There's no heat damage to be had here because this is not direct heat and products just set better with heat. Leaving your hair wet all day lets the humidity around you keep the products from setting, which ends up making your hair mushy and frizzy. Going to bed on wet hair can cause fungal infection in your scalp, which can lead to follicle damage and hair that doesn't grow the way it should anymore. If you don't have a hooded dryer, I just gave you three solid reasons why you should have one. My hair is now fully dry and uh, look at there, all that neatly set definition is intact. Now I'm a tie up for bed. This scarf is a silk blend, which is my preference because satin is good too, but I feel like it's kind of hot. It's not as breathable, so it tends to make me sweat and it's mad slippery. I don't wanna wake up in the morning and find my scarf somewhere off to the other side of the room. This turban-like wrapping method has worked best for me, so now I can be off to bed. So you're probably wondering, how is she working out every day and hair staying for a full week? Well, let me show you. This is how I tie my hair up to work out. I loop it through a small scrunchie and tie this stretchy satin scarf around my perimeter. I'll link you to these below, they're really good. It ends up absorbing sweat, of course, but it also keeps hair products from rolling into my eyes and burning. Because I am pulling my hair up and gravity says that sweat will travel down, only the roots are getting wet. After my hour long workout of Tabata style strength and cardio, you can see that the curls are still there and the roots are where the sweat is contained. I am going to use my FHI digital ceramic dryer on low heat to dry my roots. FHI makes the best flat irons and dryers. I just, I just love them. Professional quality, durable, high quality ceramic material, and the motors last for years and years. So, like I said earlier, a drawback of all foam stylers is their ability to hold for a lot of days. Why is that? It's about casting. Foam has a lower viscosity and usually they are not made with casting ingredients like pectin or xanthan that you'll find in gels, so they tend to swell easily with movement. The way I get more time is by double casting. I am reapplying the foam. By smoothing a little bit of this over the clumps of curls, it's going to provide the type of cast you usually only get from gel. Since foam has a higher ratio of water, it can be applied to dry hair without causing buildup. It's not going to flake and it will still be very lightweight and allow gradual swelling instead of full blown frizzy chaos in a day or so. This is something I usually do around day two, and once this dries, which will be about an hour from now, my hair will stay for the week. Just tie it up at night and while I work out, and it's all good. 
Now, the reason this works and it doesn't get sticky or gunky and it actually holds is because I didn't add anything else after the first layer when I washed and dried it the day before. No oils, no butters, no nothing. It's just foam on foam. If you put other things in between, I imagine the results will not be favorable. The only other product that I will incorporate after this is some edge gel and my L Organics is top notch. I like to use a fine tooth comb instead of brushing, less friction, more control. And that's it. Total time is about an hour and 45 minutes, then adding maybe another 20 or so the next day when I do the little recasting. But overall, this to me is a small amount of work for such a good length of time that this style is gonna last. I mean, come on, seven days, I'm here for it. If you are spending copious amounts of time detangling and styling, I hope this encourages you to evaluate your products and your tools and your application method because that is not a struggle you should be in. I really hope these tips help you to make some positive changes to your routine. You will find links to everything I've shown here in the description box below this video or by visiting monoshair.com.